We have kind of a disaster already. Matt slipped down here by the, got down in the water and dropped his iPod somewhere. This $400 iPod that he worked really hard to get. No way. This is definitely a God thing here. He dropped it up there in the Cascades and Mom just located it down here in the water. We've got another little emergency here. Matt was getting some water shots using his little mount and it came out of the mount and went down the rapids, his iPod. So now we got to see if we can try to retrieve it again. I don't know this time though because it was in some heavy rapids going down there. But we're going to go take a look and see if we can find it. It's kind of like finding a needle in a haystack at this point, huh? But the haystack is way bigger than your average haystack. <laughs> it is the largest haystack in the world. Uh, we are trying to find one needle in, and there is only one needle, and it is the smallest needle in the world. If you find an iPod in the creek, tell me, please. That's right. If you guys find an iPod in the creek, make sure you let Matt know, because he need, he's looking for it. We have sad faces. We haven't found it. God yep. hasn't shown us where it is for the second time. <laughs> Today we're heading out to revisit Horsetail Falls. We are going to go back up there and see if we can find Matt's iPod that he lost the last time, which was almost exactly three and a half months ago. So hopefully the water is going to be down a lot more and we're going to see if we can find that iPod. It kind of seems impossible and humanized, but we know with God all things are possible. So. Let's see if we can find that thing. Sounds like we're on a uh, Indiana Jones Raiders of the Lost iPod, iPod, iPod. That's a good start. You guys are not going to believe it. We found it. I saw it in the water like that. I'm like, I think I found it. Sure enough. Oh, wow, look, what is... do you think about that, dude? Is that rust on it? There's literally, I think it's rust on it. No, it's, it's mold. So okay, don't just, do anything don't... with it. We got to take the case off and then we've got to put it in rice and see if yeah. it dries it out. But what do you, did you think we'd find it? I didn't. I thought you were just kidding. Three and a half months, and it stayed right just about where he lost it. And here it is, three and a half months that later. That is exactly where I lost it. We found it. <laughs> we need to um, send it to send a life proof like a thing, like make like a video just about the iPod or something, and the whole story of it, and like send it to life proof. All right. So the first thing we're gonna do, the old iPod is we put it in plastic to bring it home, but. The thing is all gross and moldy on the outside and everything. You see how moldy and everything that is. We're going to take the case off now and see if it's wet on the inside. Okay. Ready, here we go. Wow. What? That looks kind of dry. Where? Whoa. You snap it on, you snap it off, and you're done with it. Oh. Whoa, that looks... I don't know. That like looks perfect. Whoa. Whoa. It looks like it might be dry. Oh my gosh. It is case. dry. That is awesome. I think it might be dry. Let me feel it. Let me feel it. It's like. Should we turn it on? Because I don't think. No. Oh. <laughs> it's, it's pretty much dry. Wow. This thing inside this wow. life, life proof case. We're talking life proof I think. Yeah. This is awesome. <laughs> life proof case there. <laughs> This baby may be dry. Look how it looks brand new. I know. We are going to put this in a container with rice. The only rice that we have. We'll get more tomorrow. But supposedly 
You're supposed to put it up to five to seven days in the rice and it will dry it out. Um, what do you call that? Extract any water that might be in the electronics. So here we go. Man, this baby looks, it looks brand new. It does. I would think that if it had water in it, even though it's been in that baggie when we got home, it would be all, it would be wet. Put it in there. It's rice. in the rice. And we will see if this thing actually works after three and a half months in the Horsetail Falls Creek up in the Sierra Nevada mountains. Well, the timing of going up to Horsetail Falls to look for Matt's iPod seems to be amazing in itself. It was just yesterday that we went and now today it is starting to rain and it's supposed to rain for the next couple of days, have showers. And our goal was to get there before it rained, which it has not rained in a long time, but it's raining the day after we went. God is just absolutely amazing. We have a little change in plans here. Jennifer did a lot of research this morning and found out that rice could end up being a problem and actually we first heard from our older son John that the starch in the rice can get in the cracks and then when it gets wet it swells and messes up the circuitry inside there. Hydrosorbent silica gel. I got this for the camera case to put it in there to keep any moisture out of our camera gear. We're going to use that and this is not going to get all over his iPod. So we're going to try putting it in a new container, a new um, dust-free container with this and try to dry it out that way. Now instead of five to seven days in the rice, we'll put it in the silica and just let it dry out just as a precaution. thing came out dry but just in case, trying to take every precaution to make sure this thing works for Mr. Matt. Do you want it to work, Matt? Yeah. Tell him if you want it to work or not. I want it to work. <laughs> <laughs> this is the moment that we've been waiting for. We are going to take the iPod out of the plastic container with the silica gels and we are going to attempt to charge it up. I think what we should do first is I think we should attempt to turn it on because that would be pretty amazing if it would just turn on. But we're going to charge it up and see if the iPod works. This whole thing is actually just a precaution because when we took it out of the case it actually seemed perfectly dry. We're just doing this as a precaution to see if just in case there any moisture got in there that we didn't see. So here we go. We are going to take it out and we're going to charge it up and see if this baby works. Okay mom's prayed about it dude so you ready to open her up? Yep. Alright here he goes. Whoa, this thing's soaking wet. No, I'm just kidding. All right. Why don't you try turning it on, see if okay. it has any charge or anything in it oh, still. Nope, this still doesn't work. Well, that doesn't work, so try the... Nope. Nope. Completely dead. Okay, so let's plug it in. You should plug it into your phone before you plug it into the wall. Okay, so let's see here. Oh, oh. Whoa. Up. Oh, oh, there's a battery there. There's a battery icon. That means that basically it works. It's a dead battery, but it's it's charging. That basically means it's charging and it's gonna work. Yeah. That's awesome. Three and a half months in Pyramid Creek, up in the mountains. I love life proof. <laughs> That's awesome. God has really been looking out for that iPod of yours, dude. It's been through a lot of intense situations. I'm excited. We saw life. Here's the latest. Wow! Look! <laughs> awesome! <laughs> it's working. Yeah, that's it's awesome. It's working right now while it's charging. I can't show you my password. I remember it, right? Oh, he's, he's got the clip of when he lost it. Oh, no. Nope. It didn't go. It's not when he, nope, I he don't had know. turned it off before yeah, he actually it dropped it. 
But that was but like where this I baby, was. how much is it charged now? Half halfway. Half charged, but look at this, he's using it. He's yeah, using his iPod. Look at all this footage that I have from that day though. What do you think of life proof cases, Matt? Never gonna buy a different case. It's alive still. Yeah. It's awesome. Thought it was gone forever. There it is, guys. 100% charged. Matt's iPod is ready for him to use again. I have not used this iPod three and a half months because it's been dead. But now I have it again. That is what I'm filming on right now. My iPod that's been underwater three and a half months. I'm just amazed that it actually still works. I've had it for two years. It was in the water for three and a half months. Now I have it again. It's just so awesome. I'm so, that's just so awesome.